way to the Rose Bowl flea market. Today, we are planning to do furniture shopping and get some places for the studio. I mean, get some pieces for the studio. I want to get like a big floor to almost ceiling mirror. What? and <laughs> Like a nine- a Large mirror. A large mirror. I want like a nine, nine foot, not nine large foot. Large standing floor mirror. What is um, 95 inches? Uh, definitely, yeah, definitely tall. Similar to the mirror that is in Malibu, we want something like really grand and big, especially because my studio has some pretty high ceilings. We want to make the most of that space. And then we also wanted to get um, like a little stool, a little mirror for the bathroom if we can find like a really cute, simple one. And just some vintage clothes because it's been a while since we've been to the Rose Bowl. So it's currently 10:15 a.m., 80 degrees on a Sunday. Beautiful morning to go flea shopping. Best day ever. Someone just left their little cart here. slid in there. We'll have to come back for that. Grandma would love this. Some shade. Picked up some really good things, dropped it off in the car, and we're going back in again. <sighs> Wait, no, how much how much did we get those other benches for? 180, 180 for both. For the big and the small. And this one's really tiny. 110 jokes. Anyway, we'll play some tennis. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Nice little hall back there. We're back home, so let's show you some of the stuff that we got. A five dollar cap. Five bucks, deal of the day. Yep. Then, this is probably the most expensive pickup, but this was like a reworked vintage jacket that we found from this guy. And he actually now carries stuff in Fred Siegel, which is really cool. And just has like a really cool pleated detail that Brandon can wear as like a dress shirt or a jacket. And Brandon also tried on a green one that was really cool that maybe we'll go back for. This is a brand. Mm-hmm. Welcome. Mm-hmm. What was the guy's name? I forget how to say it. But he gave us the hanger too, which is kind of cool. It's made out of the same fabric that the shirt is. And then I got this linen shirt, and it literally says in it, made in Italy. Got it here for 30 Zuolas, but this is just like a good summertime shirt, and color's really fun and different. Then I got this tee for 15 Zuolas, the same place that Brandon got his little cap. Just like a good little vintage tee that I can wear when we go to Universal finally, huh? Mm -hmm. And this one picked up as well, which is crazy because you know what I noticed? That shirt that that lady had, had the same... No, it was different. It had a very similar like thing on here. One lady was charging like a hundred bucks for a very similar shirt. Also had these little side buttons. That's why I think it was like similar. 
branding. Because the Similar, shirt also different. had these like buttons yeah. on the side. Similar, but this is cute and it's kind of like a crop fit on Brandon, so it'll be a good summer shirt for him, but I can also wear it. It's super cute and it's like this really like slinky material, but it feels really nice. So, mm -hmm. love that. That's it. And then we also got a lot more furniture stuff where we just got home, so we're going to shower, do the makeup. We'll show them everything that we got when we get to the studio. Yes. Brandon is chefing up a little meal that he started doing recently. So we got some... Sushi rice uh -huh. with my Dr. Duck Wagyu grass-fed ground beef. So I put like a bunch of spices and whatnot in it. So I don't know how this is going to go because I normally don't put any sauce. Do you know there's a sriracha shortage? Let's go crazy! No. Yum. Kind of mix it in a little bit here. And this is the most important part. You're going to roll over like long ways like this and kind of get extra room and then kind of pull it back tight. <laughs> Clearly he's done this before. And then that's when you roll. <laughs> and now the most important part is you gotta let it sit for like five minutes or so and then it'll actually start to mold and then it won't fall apart. Mm. Cheers. Next time you can cut these and make them into little sushis. Mmm. Pretty good. Mm-hmm. Little haul. So this is actually a mirror that we pulled from our garage. But this is one of the stools that we picked up for what? Sixty dollars? Originally eighty-five. Originally eighty-five. It's stunning. It's gonna look good in videos. And then we got these two little stools, which I'm really excited because they're like little matching little stools. So this is a little baby one that is like good for sitting on. And then this big one right now, I just have like a little fake plant on it, but maybe it would be fun to have like a little pot with like a little, like some beads or something like that hanging from it. Just good little knickknacks. And then we also got this fake plant for $40. It's beautiful. It's different from all the ones that I have right now. What are you plants right now? Brandon, we have this little mirror that we picked up for the bathroom for a whopping, what, $35? Nice. Nice little stools. Little stools is where we really got the meal. Yeah, when we first got to the flea, the first vendor that we saw that had it wanted like 150. For the small one. For the small, this little guy. And these are actually really cool because it's solid wood. It's all from one slab of wood and someone just like hand carved it. So these are really cool. Um, I think they're called Sufori? Something, I'll pop the name on it. But um, this is the mini that we got. And then the larger one, I think the guy wanted how much? 250? Yeah, he wanted almost 300 for the big one, and we got both of these for 180 for both. So that was great. Don't go to the first like stool guy. Like, there's a lot of stool people at the market. Well, in general, if you're shopping for furniture, especially at flea markets, you kind of have to shop around and talk to a lot of people, figure out like what prices you're starting to see, yeah. and barter with them because. That's how we are able to find a lot of the stuff that we picked up for like really, really good prices, so. Be stern. Yeah, firm on the prices. Hello friends, good morning. So this is my little breakfast 
slash lunch if you're new to my channel. This is how I drink my smoothies because why do more dishes when you don't have to? I also just got off the phone with Sam who is a girlfriend that I met through Alicia and we're actually going to New York in a few weeks, me, Alicia, and Sam. So really excited for that, but Sam's actually an interior designer and she came up with a little like 3D mock-up of my office space. Also I have dry shampoo that's, I'm letting like marinate in my hair, but she and I did a little call and talked over some of the things that I picked up at the flea, how the setup is gonna look with everything in there. And it's really nice because with her 3D mapping i can see how everything is gonna look before i even do it that's really helpful for me to like visualize and see everything in place so it makes me really excited for how it's gonna look how the studio is gonna look especially with the couch with the curtains all in, in there i think it's gonna be gorgeous so i'm actually headed there right now i'm gonna pack some outfits with me i'm gonna film a little how to style loafers video i'm actually going to new york in two days with my sister and it's funny because she called me last night and she was like can you do a video on how to style loafers and I was like, don't worry, sister, I'm already working on it. I'm on my way to get my hair cut. I am running so late, but this is my hair, it's really long and I originally was gonna go in and get some like highlights done, but my hair guy was like, your hair is dark. We're gonna need a lot longer than a standard appointment. So I think we're gonna go back and do that another time, but I'll see you guys after my haircut. This is her. So cute. And my hairstylist that cuts my hair, his name is Beto. He used to live in Seattle, but he just moved to LA. So I'm so excited to start seeing him again. So if you guys live in LA and you're looking for a new hairstylist, Beto's the best. So I am back home. I just did a little bit of work, but I actually packed up my little suitcase and I'm headed to New York tomorrow for a couple of days. I'm gonna go meet my sister and my mom and we booked this flight literally yesterday like it was very last minute my sister just graduated college so it's like her post-grad gift and my mom was like do you want to go and i was like booking a ticket right now so i'm excited for that i packed some loafers and some of the outfits i styled in my loafer styling video that will either be up before or after this video but i'm excited my hair Looks really good. Even today while I was working, I kept like touching and playing with the bangs. So I'm really excited that my hairstylist is now here in LA. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and how the office is coming along. I'm really excited for it. I actually get back on Sunday and Brandon's gonna pick me up and we're gonna go straight to another flea. After Sam and I, my interior design gal got off the phone, I like had so many ideas for things I wanted to pick up next. So I'm really excited. Hope you guys enjoy this vlog and I will see you all in... New York. Bye.